And we're back with some more What in the World is This Contraption? The good news is I stopped the episode at the perfect time because you will never see me beat this. What is going on? Oh my... Oh, I don't like this at all. Dude, legitimately, I don't even remember what I was talking about in the last episode. It happened like 15 seconds ago, and I don't remember what I was talking about. Ah. Oh, the, the, li the lifespan of cards. That's right. Uh, so it's a new episode, so I'll go ahead and remind you. I was complaining about how in things like Hearthstone and Magic, I never really appreciated the idea of rotational sets. I understand why they need to be around, but it really feels like kind of throw away your money. And I don't really, I don't like that. And I know what you're all thinking. Talon, didn't you play Hero Clicks for like three years, which also had rotational sets? That is true. But the thing is, I, I played competitive Hero Clicks, but we did do a lot of Golden Age Hero Clicks when I played. Uh, Golden Age being, and again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, let me give you a brief rundown if you missed the previous episode. Hero Clicks is a miniatures game where you control different superheroes and you battle other people with other different superheroes. And it is just an absolute blast, one of my favorite games. Uh, I played it competitively for a couple of years. I uh, didn't get too far, but it was fun. Well, I didn't get too far, uh, like regionally or anything like that. With that being said, though, I did win a uh, ROC event making me the fourth best player in the state, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I did play a lot of competitive hero clicks, and there was set rotation. Ah. But in hero clicks, my group, most of the time, we just play casually. So you don't really need to worry about set rotations and things like that. Because we would just do like Golden Age, events, which means every piece was allowed. So it's just about having fun, man. Oops. And I know you can do, like, Golden Age stuff in, uh, I don't it's not called Golden Age, it's called, like, what, Unlimited? Unlimited? Uh, can I get out of this nightmare room, please? Ah! Uh, there's, like, Unlimited and stuff like that, but... That's different, I guess. Like, Hero Clicks and card games, they work fundamentally differently, because in... In card games, you have a whole deck of cards, and they all need to be... They all need to work together, and they all need to be the best of what you can get. Hero Clicks, you have three pieces, and they don't have to be the best. Like, you don't have to have the best team. How do I even get out of this situation? Kind of like that, but probably good. I don't know what I'm trying to say. The point is, uh, I still feel like Unlimited Magic is a pretty competitive environment, but Unlimited Hero Clicks, which isn't called Unlimited, it's called Golden Age, uh, is actually pretty, pretty slow rolling. Hero Clicks, it didn't have too bad power scaling, so if you had like a few pieces that were like a year old, you'd be okay. I keep dying right there. Uh, obviously, if you did real, we did some real competitive Golden Age stuff, and in that you have to have some of the best pieces of all time. Um, not really, my group was never the most competitive, but... Oh, I did it! But, I don't know, Hero Clicks, it just, it feels like it works different than Magic. Like, if you open up a single super rare in Hero Clicks, you can just go at, you can run it, man. Run that single super rare, it'll do you great. In Magic, if like you need like that one specific super rare for your one specific deck, but I don't know. They're, they're different types of games, so maybe comparing them is a little apples and oranges, but... Oh, come on. Do those sign to me in any way that they're going to fall? Because right now it kind of feels like it's just like a cheap death. They don't look like they sign in any way. I'm the best player in the world. Never mind. Uh, my girlfriend just said Hulk is the best piece. 
Uh, for those of you not aware, which should be all of you, uh, my girlfriend really likes the Hulk for reasons I don't fully comprehend. And she has a couple Hulk pieces in there, and hero clicks in there. They're pretty fun pieces, to be honest. That's the thing about hero clicks is you can so faithfully recreate superheroes. So she just has like a 400 point piece, which is um, like more than 100% your normal point maximum. Which means technically that piece can't be run at full power during normal games, but that's not the point of this conversation. Very expensive, very beefy Hulk piece that's like five times the size of my other pieces. And uh, if you're not careful, he just murders you horribly. And my girlfriend loves that piece. And just the, the moral of the story is just go play Hero Clicks, man. Ah, that didn't feel fair. Just go play Hero Clicks, man. It's so great. If you even care about superheroes, just like go go pick up a set, man. You'll have a blast. Uh, if you don't care about superheroes, I have good news for you. Uh, when I said it's a superhero miniature fighting game, I was actually lying. Ah, oh, Hero Clicks is just a miniatures game that happens to focus on superheroes. Uh, you like wrestling? They just released a WrestleMania set. Um. Don't do this to me! How do you even... You're not supposed to do it that way. Oh, okay. They have a Wrestlemania set with a whole bunch of different wrestlers. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which. I haven't checked. Um, they have a few Ninja Turtle sets. Uh, a couple of Star Trek sets. And I'm sure a few other miscellaneous sets that I'm just not thinking of right now. Just great stuff, man. We were talking about Green Lantern the other episode. An episode of it. Um, they had, when I, when I was in my prime, they had a Green Lantern Heroclix set. Uh, if you played Heroclix, you know which one I'm talking about. War of Light had every single Green Lantern character in every single form they've ever appeared in. And it was absolutely glorious. Grand prize for that set was uh, Necron, the Entity of Death massive piece, like, maybe like a foot tall. Absolutely amazing. Loved it so much. Um, I want it, of course, because I'm the greatest Heroclix player of all time. Uh, maybe I'll post a picture of it online or something. Just look it up, man, if you don't want to. Just like, Heroclix, Necron, East, or something like that. You'll find the big one. It's amazing. There's some great colossal pieces in Heroclix. Uh, my girlfriend is currently bringing to my attention for some reason, the My Little Pony Magic set. And I gotta say, if you haven't seen this, Magic is doing a charity, I'm dead, where they have three official silver-bordered My Little Pony Magic cards. And I find that one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Like, that is catering to such a specific portion of people. I find it hilarious. And I'm going to say, I'm not, I've never seen, uh, well, I do not watch My Little Pony saying I've never seen it as a lie. I've seen one episode a long time ago. Um, but just the idea that they're trying to like, hey, you like magic? You like My Little Pony? Well, this is the set for you. It's so, hey, is the game over? Can I leave now? It's so... What is this? It's hilarious to me, just that they would release that. Oh my god, am I... Oh no, I have to do the boss fight! Oh, I'm not ready. Um, they have... My Little Pony cards. Magic is what I'm trying to get at, and it is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I have nothing against people. If you like if you like My Little Pony, dude, that's your prerogative. I, I don't care. Uh, I have a few friends that are, uh, bronies. Dude, does the ducking actually do something? Am I dead? Yes. Can you walk under this? No, you have to duck. That is so threatening. Uh, I don't care if you watch My Little Pony, dude. I don't care what you watch or what you do with your life. Just... As long as it doesn't hurt people. Anyway, what? How do you do that? What if you dash? No, dashing just kills you. You have to, really? Can you make it over? No. You can probably... Let's try this. Let's try this. Watch this. I like that. 
Kind of like that, but not like that at all. Not like that either. Uh, anyway, with that all being said, uh, I really want the My Little Pony cards. For two reasons. One, uh, I think it's hilarious, and I want them for that alone. And two, those have to be worth something eventually, right? Because to buy them from the Magic Store, technically it's not buying them, it's a charity thing. But three cards for 50 bucks. Dude, that part is really scary. Three cards for 50 bucks. Oh my goodness. Which isn't even a good deal, frankly. Go, go, go. Just get out. Um, they have to be worth something, right? Like, because these are going to be the only, like, maybe, <laughs> unless it sells really well, then there's going to be an entire My Little Pony set. But these are going to be, like, the only My Little Pony magic cards in existence, right? They're going to be worth something in a few years, man, I'm telling you. I keep trying to dodge him, but I gotta not do that. Uh, girlfriend says 30 goes to charity, 20 goes to... Stop doing that. 30 goes to charity, 20 goes to... Uh, the people who made the game, whose name escapes me. Wizards of the Coast. And to me, that's okay. That's pretty good. Uh, five... Uh, sorry, three English. Do you have to hit his head there? Because it feels like you have to hit his head there. Oh my goodness, you don't have to hit his head there. Please. Um, they have to be worth something is all I'm trying to say, man. A few years from now, when they're the only real Magic the Gathering My Little Pony cards, I'm telling you, those are going to be like 100 bucks each. I want them. It's hilarious. Judge me for it if you want, but I find it freaking hilarious. Oh, I think the duck just saved me. Can this level end already, though? Because I hurt. Wait a minute. No, you wouldn't do that to me. Right? Oh, no, okay, okay. I thought... <laughs> Listen here. I thought that that top uh, doorbell thing, whatever it does, I thought it was in a wall. And I thought the only way was to get Mr. Oshiro to just end me. I thought the only way was to get Mr. Oshiro to, uh... to hit it himself, and I was about to say that seems ridiculous. Ah. Never beating this one. I... Oh, my controller just disconnected. Yeah, man. Point is, sign me up for My Little Pony. Oh, my controller glitched. Sign me up for My Little Pony cards. Why does my controller keep disconnecting? It's not that it's dying, is it? I tell. Uh, sign me up for My Little Pony cards because I am buying. Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, Mr. Oshiro, come on. Oh, no, I wasn't watching and my controller has died again. It'd be cool if I had a stream where things didn't break. Be exciting. My battery's dead. Dude, I don't think. I do not believe I have any batteries anywhere. Oh, okay, got reconnected. If I need to, I'll just pause the stream. Yeah, I think I need to. Okay, I'm gonna pause the stream really second. Really second. I'm gonna pause the stream for a second and go pick up some uh batteries. Uh, I should be back in just a few minutes. Uh, if you want to wait, girlfriend. Uh, if not, this is probably going to be the last or another episode on YouTube, so I will see you guys tomorrow, but for now, let's go find some more batteries.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Let's just get back in the game. I've grabbed some new batteries. Ripped them out of my previous Xbox controller. Oops, that is not how you want to do that. Uh, hopefully these ones... Uh, I can't do that. Hopefully these ones last because they are the only AA batteries in the house. Oh, Mr. Oshiro, you betrayed me! Ah. There we go. These don't seem to be working. <laughs> Doesn't help me play any better, though. Why would I go to that one first? Why, why that one? Okay, so let's get back into the head of things. Uh, I apologize for the pause and end of episode. You know what's exciting? The idea... Ah, come on. The idea that I might be close to finishing this level. And it's only taking me literally all day. Oh, I panicked. What am I doing? This is how you die. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine if these B-sides had strawberries, man? How do you even... What if I don't? What if... You betrayed me. What if instead of trying to get the preset... ...energy, what if I just use Mr. Oshiro? If I just wait here... Jump. And jump too high? That can work. I believe in that. Oop. Wait here. Jump. No! Ah, if I, if I jump with him, maybe. What am I doing? Goodbye. Oh, or that. That works. <gasps> this, uh, I'm dead. Goodbye, world. Dude, is this the end of the level? Wouldn't that be exciting? Is there just a crystal heart just waiting for me down there? That would be pretty sweet. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Died. was a reference to Joker from the 2011 classic? How did that come out? Huh? Yeah, that felt not good. Oh, well, that felt even worse. Okay. I went the wrong way again. Okay, Mr. Oshiro, come on. There we go. Oh my god. How to turn failures into success. That was going much better than it had any right to. Oh. I might have been able to save that, but... Oh my god. It's like, this part shouldn't even be very hard, but I'm just kind of bad. Okay, that time I felt like I didn't grab, but whatever. So if we go up and then down, ooh, that's juicy. Oh. Or you can just, like, sit there and be confused. Right, you go up and then you go down. Oh yeah, that works. Up and then down. Oh, who even needs the ability to be good at video games? <sighs> Sometimes I feel like I can hit him with no problem. Another time I feel like I really struggle to hit his oversized head. And we've done it, and it's not the end. Ooh, did I hear those clicks? Do you think those clicks mean what I think they clicks mean? Do you think that maybe, just maybe, we're at the end? Because to me, that sounds like crystal heart music. Is it even a crystal heart? 
There are crystal hearts for sure. What is this? I didn't ask for this. I didn't I didn't ask for any of this. What did I what did I do to deserve this? Okay. The good news is I was worried about finishing this level too soon and having an awkward length stream. The good news is that is no longer my concern. Ah. Didn't click any faster. Dude, I bet you the heart is just right around this corner, man. Listen to this B-side music just cheering, really. Hi. Listen to this B-side music just cheering me on, man. Ah, so close, so close. Oops. Okay. I used my dash. Dude, this song is going off, man. Ooh, that's jelly. Can I recover? Not like that. Mm. Ow. Stop diagonaling, man. For 100% completion, do you think it tracks the fewest deaths in this uh, world? Because if it does, I'm gonna be honest with you, we're never gonna complete this game if it does. Okay, so you cannot use up all of those spaces. You have to leave at least one. Not like that, just kill me. Just take me out of it. It's kind of the awkward part about trying to 100% a game that you've never played before. Is I'm not sure what does and doesn't are not really gonna do it to me like that. I'm not quite sure which does and does not qualify for 100% completion. And again, I'm not playing on the Steam version, so I don't have achievements, so I have nothing really to find out. Please? Just wait, just take it, just take it slow. There it is! We've beaten the B-side, good karma. They said it couldn't be done, and it only took two hours for a single B-side. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. The level was reasonably short, which really saved me. <sighs> 770. One number off perfection. But we've done it. That is another part for the books right there. Bam. See, I don't know... Is it counting total deaths? If I replay some of these levels, is it going to add to that? Because over here, there's definitely fewest deaths. Okay. Oh, fewest death records. No, it does count it. Are we going to count that for 100%? I, I don't think so. I don't know if we're going to do that. I don't think... It would take me so much practice to be able to do this game at zero deaths. I don't... Yeah. I, I can't imagine us getting that, so if that really matters to you for 100% completion, you can go somewhere else, because I, I cannot see myself doing one death runs. Like, I will happily... still don't know what a full clear is. I will happily go through, I will beat all of the levels, get all of the B-sides, beat all of the B-sides, get all of the strawberries. I cannot see myself worrying about runs or amount of deaths. I just can't see that happening. What, is, what does this even do? What is the purpose of this? Is there like a... Is this gonna like be a poem or something? You gotta like put it in the right order or something? No idea. Let's just keep it like that for now. 
Uh, I think it's a little early. But I'm definitely not gonna start another level. Oh, that's very pretty. Because that seems... suicidal. Uh, so instead... Just get out of the game here. We can just go right over here and use this fabulous stream as ending. Uh, graphic that I made. And uh, yeah, this is where I would spend time talking about things that I found important. What do you guys think about the stream today? <laughs> this isn't going to be just a 10 minute talking segment, don't worry. Um, I am very, I'm very proud of this stream. And I'm telling you guys, every single stream is going to get just a little bit better, man. And I feel like this stream is where we pop off. Thank you to my girlfriend for helping, Preppy Becca. You can see her in the comments. She might be a moderator soon. Ooh, probably not. I don't think she's going to watch long enough. Point is, uh, it's getting better, man. I'm proud of this stream. This one was good. I'm not afraid to put my name on the stream. Uh, I hope you guys agree. If you don't, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, or if you do, man. Feel free to like and subscribe as you want to. There's a little bell icon that I hear is pretty important. I have never used the bell icon, but I'm sure some people do. Um, and just, man, just thank you for sticking around, man. I'll see you guys Tuesday where we'll be streaming some more Celeste. Uh, no more B-sides, maybe, for a little while, please. Next time, we'll probably just try to do a level or two, depending on how long we get. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a B-side. I don't know. What do you guys like? Hmm. So yeah, see you guys next time. I will be here Tuesday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I believe 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm not sure anymore. I just have to change these. Again, I'm sorry. The uh, I live in Mountain Standard Time. We have uh, Daylight Savings. So time just got rolled back, so I'm no longer sure if my schedule is even correct. So, yeah, I'll probably edit that to make it out in standard time. But beyond that, if there's anything you'd like to see, if there's anything you'd like to let me know, let me know in the comments. Until then, see ya on Tuesday. Signing off.